let's talk about uh, enabling uh, open modular cost simulation architecture with FMU communication interface. This is a revolutionary method, maybe one of the easiest and most powerful for the integration simulation tools together in order to achieve bidirectional parametric synchronization through open standard SFMI, functional mockup unit. Everything comes out of the box, no hard coding needed. Uh, and again, very powerful, very flexible uh, interface. So we'll show how to connect tools uh, using this uh, capability. As you can see here, we have, uh, we have robotic simulation, which is running uh, inside of the Delmia virtual commissioning app in 3D Experience platform, and uh, it synchronizes with uh, Katia Magic SML real time. You see parameters from the robot joints. Four joints are used, the coming of each joint uh, values. Uh, so this is uh, one direction. We can uh, create a, a direction back uh, using the same interface, and we'll show how to create this interface, how to use interface to connect not only this tool, but any tools and apps using uh, FMI and not all. So first of all, how so to solution architecture. Then we will cover the generation of FMU, communication FMU. It is like proxy uh, demonstration. Then we will cover demonstration how to use FMU in general. If you don't know how to do it, you know, we'll show how to do it. And also we'll show sample architecture of actual solution. So first of all, the communication uh, interface uh, what is that? So uh, we, in most cases, have similar architecture. So we have COSIM with FMU context uh, for our solution architecture. And we have uh, some uh, app which supports FMU. So your application that supports FMU interface. FMU interface is very popular. FMI functional mockup interface standard is very popular, supported by 250 tools. Uh, and we have some uh, apps which can communicate, right? So we can see here, we have FMI supporting cap and have FMI supporting cap. We have this interface. And what we do here, we are using Modelica device drivers library by Daimola or 3D behavior, 3D experience platform behavior modeling app to generate communication interface. This communication interface has two sides. One side is FMI, so FMU unit generated, so FMI interface enable it to drag and drop it into any of those apps supporting FMU. Another side of that interface is actually communication. So communication using those methods, shared memory, serial, MQTT, TCP, IP, CAN, UTP, uh, LMC, LCM. And there are more, it can access hardware, it can access other things, but we'll just use for now this side, communication side, you choose communication interface and you generate two parts of this FMU, one for one app, another one for another app, and then you drag them here, you see, in your applications, and then the communication established based on this interface, selected interface. It also enables another type of communication you can use, for example, uh, MQTT, FMU and then another app could have no FMU support at all, but it could be supporting one of those interfaces like serial, TCP IP or MQTT. And then you can use this here, for example, for the communication app, which is supporting MQTT or hardware supports MQTT. Very convenient. Again, you can connect directly, you know, without any effort and hard code. I can switch to Katia Magic with this architecture. And here we would have, you see, uh, FMU to FMU communication between two apps. So here we can have an uh, app, let's say, Katia Magic with FMU interface communicating to another app through MQTT, let's say, interface. So we can have, like, for example, here interface as MQTT. And here interface would be MQTT and this would not be needed because the communication will be this way. So we would communicate directly without another side of FMU. And here we have communication interface for this purpose. 
communicating directly like that. So alternative architectures, for sure we can support multiple other variations, but uh, core thing is this FMU sender receiver interface. Now, uh, we're talking about FMI standard. FMI standard is very popular, supports a lot of tools. Uh, here is the address and you can find a lot of tools. Uh, we are dealing in this case with FMI 2.0 interface when we are generating this communication interface. Uh, uh, and here is this Modelica device driver library, which is used. This Modelica device driver library is very popular. Uh, generating interfaces so you see it also supports hardware operating systems uh, but also we are using just for the communication so now um, let's go to the next step uh, and we will generate FMU so we will use Daimola for that and we use the RISE driver library Modelica device driver library inside of Daimola comes out of the box and the MOL is commercial Modelica tool allowing to generate FMUs very well. We are representative of FMI standard and we will provide you with the sample to generate this powerful interface. So let's go here. Uh, here we have a sample model. As you can see here, the sample model is this one, robotic UP, UDP uh, sample. It's uh, enriched uh, with this library, you see, it's using this library for the interface definition. And here we have this one of the FMUs with the inputs and outputs, right? And then uh, let's go back to the sample. Let's go to this sample. It has this robotic uh, representation of the sample. And here we have this use of this FM, FMU unit, show component. And here is this communication established. So you use inputs, as many inputs as you wish before generating FMU. You can delete, for example, those. You can add new ones. And here is this um, uh, object. You see UDP sender and UDP receiver, UDP sender, UDP receiver. And you use them and you specify what port is used. Uh, what uh, IP is used and what port is used see? Uh, for the communication because you, you need to send on the same port you need to receive on another port so sending and then receiving uh, and here is another port for receiving right and uh, how we do it we have here we see one side of FM, FMU another side of FMU then sending on this port now and receiving on opposite port before it was sending. So now how in Daimola generate this FMU? So you take the sample, you open the sample, you go to translate. So let's say this one FMU, right? Go to translate, FMU generation. Those are the properties pretty much could be the default properties. We are using uh, core simulation when we uh, uh, or can uh, run the uh, built-in evaluator of FMU inside of FMU because FMU has its own executable, right? So we will generate with that. Generate at one. Then go here. Translate FMU. Generate at another one. Now uh, let's go to the next step. Uh, first of all, let's see where those were generated. Working directory here, you see. I can browse, I can copy this working directory. Go to the file browser. Go to this file browser here, paste, open. They have those two FMUs. We are communicating, we are establishing bi-directional communication actually because here every of those you know has some inputs and has outputs this one has also inputs and outputs they communicating now let's go to the next step and next step will be usage of fmu so let's go to back to katia magic and here let's create the block diagram to start a modeling uh, system so core sim architecture and here we will have two FMUs used. So we'll open this and we'll drag one. We'll attach to the project file and inputs and outputs are visualized automatically. So done, one is used. And now 
second one again inputs and outputs are visible attached to the project file done when we attach the project file it is included cdos fmu so we don't need to carry them together with the in the file system they are already inside of katia magic project now we are using them you see here directly and uh, now sec next step is we will create simulation config to specify time properties because fmu does not work without time properties specified core sim simulation and then we use this architecture block and then we double click here on simulation config we go to time properties and here we have start time zero step size could be one step unit let's you can do milliseconds uh, let's say for example 10 or 100 unit will be milliseconds and that's it you know we need to specify those parameters in order minimum parameters in order that this execution would work at all uh, and that's it here so now we can run the simulation and make let's make this dialog bigger because it didn't have anything else connected uh, and here we have this simulation running you see and we have those two fmus available so any input uh, here would be visible on output here so for example here we'll have like 45 you see and this another fmu received that you see now if i will input here let's say you see received by another one so those fmus are working together using in this case udp interface i could use again shared memory tcp ip mqtt but they are working they are synchronizing you see real time whatever i input here i get uh, here for example input i get here automatically output if i here input something and get here automatically you see so that's that's how this interface works very powerful interface you can use those to connect uh, any tools uh, and uh, this connection will work out of the box because they already support fmu interfaces okay let's go to the next step so how and what actual solution architecture based on this communication interface we can enable so here is an example one where we run a katia magic sml with the requirements verification with the state machines uh, executing at system level and then we drive uh, other models and hardware like uh, robotic simulation uh, in the actual robot we have robotic simulation inside of delmia uh, connecting with the fmu udp you see and uh, robotic simulation in the mall running this sample and how that uh, looks like this is like white box everything you can see track you can get you know power consumption immediately torque through this multi-physics simulation in demola from here in delmia you can have uh, ergonomics of a robot you can re uh, simulate reach of the robot path uh, doing offline programming and uh, other use cases and you can have bi bi bi-directional interface as you saw with the selected time step and then also you have hardware in the loop so here we have this sample uh, running in the top uh, left corner we see the multi multiphysics simulation we track you know power usage we track torque we have track speed of the end of the arm for example if we increase the length of the arm the speed of the end of the arm increases and we might need to slow down it based on the software update uh, in order that it would not harm you know someone and here on the right side we see robotic simulation and here is the hardware synchronized and here is the katia magic in this uh, in the first scenario so the robot was driving the simulation uh, and katia magic was just getting coordinates here we have katia magic driving simulation with requirements verification for automatic pattern state based simulation or manual property updates of each joint uh, here is again the same simulation uh, demonstrated in the uh, the conference uh, here we have full uh, uh, engineering workflow with the design of this 3d cat with the wire harness design just i can tell you that uh, this cat used in robotic simulation to connect to 
couple of hours first time next time it takes 10 minutes just to connect take the cat empty cat and connect to fmi interface to run with katia magic and other tools in the loop uh, here is again uh, another simulation uh, running another robot already with the camera tracking uh, objects uh, advising on the manufacturing sequence uh, again uh, the power consumption the theoretical uh, uh, simulation base comes from the daimola uh, arm speed comes from daimola and uh, uh, delmia provides uh, uh, characteristics about uh, ergonomics and uh, uh, robotic arm reach and other characteristics and we can connect this is complete modular architecture we can connect uh, more tools the processing power does not increase uh, the, those tools can run on uh, different uh, op systems operating systems and uh, physical hardware and this architecture scales uh, uh, it does not depend on api it just depends on fmu interface support or communication protocol support as mqtt by another app like for example here hardware arduino hardware supporting that uh, so please uh, try this interface and uh, you will be surprised how uh, flexible and lightweight uh, and at the same time powerful communication is using it um, and co-simulation.